So hey everybody, in today's video, Maxie and I are going to answer one of the number one questions I get about my curly hair, and that is how do I pull this hair back to get it out of my face? Uh, you all know I have a ton of hair and it wants to come forward. It's constantly in my face. So in the majority of videos, and honestly, almost every single day, I have my hair pulled back in some form or fashion. So I'm gonna show you exactly how I do it. I did wash my hair today and look at it already. I've been filming videos and it's just a mess. It's raining, it's humid outside. But naturally for me, you can see that this section of hair right here wants to come forward and hang in my face. Doesn't really matter what I do to it. It's just my natural curl pattern here pulls it forward. So I have to put it back some way to keep it out of my face. So let me show you around my hair first so you know what I'm dealing with and then you'll better understand when I show you the several different methods that I use to pull my hair back. So I have curly hair and a ton of hair. This is the side that wants to get wonky and I get this, this bang area that wants to separate and pull forward and then there's all of this in the back. So my favorite way to pull it back and what I do most often is using a little teeny bobby pin. Well, and let's just stop there. Did you see what I just did? A lot of times I will take this bang, which is really that long if you look at it, and I will, and I will, gosh, now I can't do it when I'm thinking about it, but I will actually tuck those bangs behind my ear and kind of pull this forward and it will keep it out of my face. But if I'm up moving, I'm pretty active, that won't stay behind my ear. But on wash days, because I don't want to get it in here and tinker around with it too, too much, I tend to do that a lot. So it will solve my problem. It looks like my hair is pulled back when honestly it's just tucked behind my ear. If I do want to pull it back, I use these little miniature bobby pins. So you can see the difference in a full size bobby pin and a small bobby pin. They come in a pack, you can just get them at any grocery store, but they're super short. They're half the size and this is what I use. When I put a huge bobby pin in my hair, you can see it in my hair, it's just too much. So I will use one or two of the little teeny ones. And honestly, every day that I do it, it just depends on the curl. So what I will do, if I'm gonna take this and pull it back, I want to only pull back this front part, right? That's what I want out of my face. I don't wanna disturb the rest of this. So I'm gonna pick this up, separate it, make sure I don't have any weird things here kind of get it in a bunch and then I'm just going to pull it right back here and I can find you can just kind of run your fingers along the curl and find where it naturally wants to dip in and then I just put a baby pin in it right there just like this I just grab the little piece of hair that I pulled back I know that's hard for you to see and pop it right in and then my curls will kind of fluff up around it and you really can't see the bobby pin oh so it's out of my face i still have volume i still have all of this that will hang down naturally and i don't like to pull all of my hair back on wash day i mean i put all this effort into washing it i just need it out of my face so this is a wash day pullback simple and i still have all the volume and the curls in this side looks great just like it always does on day two when my curls start to get a lot a little wonky or if this is weird I will take a second bobby pin and pull back I don't want to do it and mess my hair up, but just pull back this little section and do the same thing just pop that in that's great for day two hair when I start to lose some of the curl definition I'll, I'll pop this up here and we'll see what it looks like So just get a teeny bit of hair in there. Well, 
that's that's a wonky curl ignore that one but that gives you a general idea so i still have some curls my hair is down it's not a big barrette in my hair and there's two bobby pins if my hair is super duper crazy up top or the curls just get so big i cannot get them in one bobby pin here i will take a second one and put it right up top just really really lightly to keep those curls intact on the top of my head so they're not flopping somewhere crazy but you can see there what it looks like and over here so i still maintain the shape of my hair and all the things but yet it is out of my face so moving on to the next way that i love to pull my hair out of my face me get these bobby pins in pull them out so carefully so that you don't mess up your curls so i love a good headband i own so many headbands but i love a good headband and i really love a headband on hair day two and three if my curls still look pretty decent i just need them out of my face a headband is the way to go this headband y'all is awesome it's from a brand called Anna and Ava I believe it's only sold at Dillard's and I got these just recently they were a little two-pack so the thing about headbands because I have so much hair I can have a little teeny headband just like this and you think it's gonna be fantastic and then after 10 minutes it's like rising up on my head because my hair is just poofing up and the headband won't stay in place and that drives me crazy if i get a really thick headband like this sometimes they can be too tight this one really wants to push on the bone behind my ears although i love the headband so this one if you have a dillard's near you this one is great it's very movable but it is weighted it's a little bit heavy and these balls at the end of the headband their weights so it's not a hard headband it's very flexible but because it's weighted it will keep it from rising up off of my hair so pull just a little of this hair back put the headband on and then i can pull some of the curls to get them the way that i want them to now because i wash my hair today my curls are really big on day two and three this is going to be just a little bit flatter but i still love the look of a headband i get all of the volume which i love the volume and the curls and it's back off of my face and it's cute and it's not up my hair is not up so i really love a good headband and when i'm at home around the house and i'm not going anywhere i don't normally put my hair up in a ponytail i pull my hair back in a headband or these bobby pins i just that's what i do almost every single day so tonight i'm actually going out to dinner with my husband and my family we're having a special uh, dinner event thing out and so i do not want to wear a headband i want to try to wear my hair down but i am going to pin it up because it is raining and this will drive me crazy so let's see if we can redo this bobby pin look I'll turn this way so y'all can see me. So I just pulled back what I want out of my face and I just find a natural kind of divot in my hair, a natural spot. And I'm only holding just that little bit. And I want to grab the bang part in the bobby pin and then push it up into my hair so you really don't see it it just disappears and then kind of fluff everything up around it whoop and then whoa just kind of fluff everything up around it and it's basically my same exact hairstyle down i just have this pinned up out of my face so I hope that was helpful, you guys. Pick up headbands wherever you go. I love them. And just pick up these little bobby pins at any grocery store. So if you have any questions about anything I just did to my hair, drop a question in the comments and I'll shoot you the answer right back. Have a great day. See you later.